What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. Here today to do a quick review and demonstration over Reverb Shaper, the newest module to the Shaper Box 3 collection. Uh, do me a favor, though, if you guys do like the content, could you hit the subscribe button for your boy one time? I'm trying to hit 30K by the end of the year, and we're so close. Uh, but with no further delay, let's get right into this review, baby. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys. So when you open up Reverb Shaper, it is going to look like this. Um, it is going to be twenty nine dollars for the intro price on this thing. If you want to add it to your Shaper Box Three collection, um, as you look at this, it's like the other ones where it's going to have um different bands that you can add right here. Um, what's cool about this one that's a little bit different is that you have this sin right here, so it plays as like it's a sin. Um, so you can mix in uh, the original signal with the actual reverb. That's nice. Um, you got your reverb here, your volume here, decay. Um, you can clear the tails right here of the reverb. You got pre-delay, you got width, you got size, you got dry wet over here. And as you look over here in envelopes, um, you can open this thing up right here and you're gonna get a ducking feature, a follow feature, um, things like that. You got sync, audio, time, all the other tools that are in all of the other uh, Shaper Box modules. Um, I've made a little sample beat as always. It's definitely not all the way mixed down because I threw Reverb Shaper on everything um, and I didn't really do any EQ and compression or anything like that because I wanted to use all these sounds for the demonstration. But let's go. All right, guys, so that's the little sample beat that I put together for you guys today. Uh, let's go ahead and hop back into Reverb Shaper and check this thing out. Um, so what I'm gonna do for you guys today is I'm gonna show you guys what I used it on in this beat, and then I'm gonna go through a lot of uh, the features and the functions of this thing. One thing that I will say before I get going is that I really love all of these different reverb types in here. Um, this is honestly my favorite thing about the plugin is that you have so many different um, sounding reverbs in here. It's just super solid. I would just take this plugin alone just for all these different reverbs. Um, but the first thing that I threw it on was this um, piano. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this wet level down a little bit so you can hear what it sounds like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put it on what I had it on. So that's what the piano sounded like without the reverb shaper on there. Um, I had it at about 75, and this is what it sounded like with the reverb shaper on there. So you can hear that little bit of extra that it's adding. It's pretty nice. And again, like they've got a whole bunch of different um, reverb sounds that you can use. And that just sounds super solid to me. I should have just let it play so that you guys could hear the tail. Uh, I'll go ahead and I will turn the dry wet up just so you can hear what it sounds like um, fully wet. So again, you get pretty good tails right here. You're going to get the volume. You can turn that up, obviously, of the reverb. Um, this synth feature is really nice. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this down so it's making it like you're sending it out to something else. So it smooths that signal out there for you. I'm going to go ahead and go through a few more different reverbs for you guys so you can hear what some more of them sound like. So 
So these are the weird sounding reverbs. I'm obviously you're gonna have your standard stuff over here. But they're just pretty solid reverbs, all of these reverbs. You can turn this clear tails button on. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next thing I used it on. The next thing that I used it on was this guitar. Um, so let me go ahead and pull Shaper Box 3 back up here. And on this guitar, um, the guitar sounded like this before I threw Shaper Box on there. All right, now once I throw Shaper Box on there though, I can get it to sound uh, like this. Super solid. Um, I know what a lot of you guys want to hear. You probably want to hear what some of these patterns sound like because I guess I haven't even got to that part yet. Um, what's super solid, obviously, about Shaper Box is that you can draw um, your designs in here. You know, you can pull stuff over um, and just build different patterns and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and add something in here. All right, and now if we push play. So that's pretty solid because you can obviously make the effects swell up or swell down. I'll go ahead and go through some of these patterns though for you. Now this reverb right here is pretty solid um, on some other things and I'll play that here a little bit later, um, but I'll just play just a few more patterns here on this guitar so you can just hear what the reverb sounds like. So what's cool is you have bars down here as well, so you can change up the speed in which it goes through um, this pattern. So that's pretty solid there in itself. I'm gonna go ahead and play the next thing that I threw it on. Um, I threw it on this saxophone. I'm just gonna let you hear what it sounds like on the saxophone. Then I'm gonna go to the vocal and start messing with that a little bit. Uh, but this is what the saxophone sounded like before I threw Reverb Shaper on there. All right, so then once I got this Reverb Shaper on there though, I got it to sound uh, something like this. Also, what's cool about this, I should let this, I'm gonna let this tail end play real quick so you can hear what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna go ahead and show you the next thing I have it on. I have it on this vocal right here. So with this vocal, um, the vocal sounds like this before I throw Shaper Box on there. We could be together if you want. Don't you wanna? All right, but then once I threw this reverb shaper on there, I got it to sound like this. We could be together if you want. Don't you wanna? Bam, the reverbs in this are absolutely solid. Um, let's go ahead and just go to a different one. Uh, res it up. We could be together if you want. Don't you wanna call me? We could be together if you want. Don't you wanna call me? I mean, that's just a solid reverb in my personal opinion. Uh, let's go ahead and mess with this just epic. We could be together if you want. Don't you wanna call me? So you have control over pre-delay over here. You also have control over width and size. We could be together if you want. Don't you wanna call me? That's nice. You also have width right here. We could be together if you want. Don't you wanna go? So it definitely widens that thing out a little bit. And then you got the size of your reverb as well. We could be together if you want. Don't you wanna go? All right. So then on the same beat, another thing that I used this reverb one was this snare. Um, so the snare, it kind of did a little cool effect with it, uh, because I used a little pattern right here. Um, so this is what the snare sounds like by itself. Now, once I threw this effect on there though, we got this thing to sound like this. And that just sounded super solid with everything else going. So I'm just gonna play the piano um, and then the drums and stuff with it just cause it sounded solid. That's what kind of gave it that cool, you know what I'm saying? Little bounce um, to the beat. I like that a lot. Um, but with this, I was going to play the snare too, just to play some more reverb so that you can hear what this reverb actually sounds like, because again, it is super solid. Um, so let's go ahead and switch to something else. Tell me that doesn't sound like it would be a bucket reverb though. <laughs> Quality name for that one. And then you can throw, like I said, all of these different patterns on there. And then the last thing I used it on in this beat was just this random synth. Um, on this synth, um, I mean, I didn't do much with this synth. I just followed the root notes. 
Um, it's 39 over 100, but it sounded like this before I threw Shaper Box on there. So super basic, but once I threw this on there, um, I got it to sound something like this. You know what I'm saying? That right there was nice. And then again, you can just come over here and you can do so much. So boom, I could hit this. Let's throw a different reverb on there. I, I really like these ones over here, these weird, weird reverbs. Um, and then let's just go ahead and pick us a little pattern. So again, let's pull this back just a little bit. So you can hear how both the reverbs are going at the same time, pretty solid. Um, there's a few more things I want to show you guys this on. Um, I want to play it on this drum so I can show you guys this ducking feature um, because, you know, obviously that's important. Um, so let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Um, this is what it's going to sound like um, without Shaper Box on there. All right, now once I threw Shaper Box on there, again, this is just so that you can hear the reverb. It's easier for me to show you this ducking feature with this kick drum. Um, so this sounds like this. So now this is just gonna be easier for me to show with the kick drum. That's why I used it because you'll be able to hear the kick punch through and the reverb duck the easiest. Um, so this is what it's gonna sound like now um, with the reverb on there. Now once I turn this ducking on, listen. So if you can see, once I brought this up, the reverb was more present and it wasn't stopping, it was going the whole time. Now watch as I turn this down, um, you're gonna hear the reverb cut a little bit in this. So you can hear it's ducking that reverb for you. Um, again, a very nice feature in this plugin. I'm gonna show you guys one more thing real quick. I just put it on this synth just so I can um, demonstrate it just a little bit more. Um, so I've just got this basic sound from um, Omnisphere and it's just gonna be one note hits um, and they sound like this. All right guys, so I just wanna play one more thing for you guys real quick to show you something else because this thing is really, really solid, especially the more that you mess with it. Um, I threw it on just some random synth sound from Omnisphere, but I have the sound panning back and forth. Um, that sound sounds like this. All right, so it's kind of an interesting sound, but once I throw Shaper Box or the Reverb Shaper on there, <laughs> this thing's gonna sound like this. And this is just a note hit. These notes aren't even uh, stretched out, um, so it's like a two-step note. Um, so let's go ahead and play some more different reverbs on there so you can hear what they sound like. And 
I'll change some of the patterns down here for you too. All right, guys, so that's what I got for you guys today. What are my opinions on Reverb Shaper? Well, I'm sure you guys can tell already I like this thing. I think it is super solid. Um, it's $29 for the upgrade. In my opinion, I think it's worth it. I think just all the reverb types alone that you get make it worth it. Uh, but then the, all the other stuff that you can do with it is solid as well. I really do like the send feature um, because it allows you to not have to send your whatever out to another bus, even though I probably will send it out to another bus because it's still a stronger signal, um, but it allows you to not have to do that. I love the ducking feature. Um, I love the fact that you can draw different patterns and the different patterns uh, give your, your grooves or whatever it is that you're putting on a different bounce. Um, you can add stuff to your percussion. You can put it on hi-hats. You can put it on perks. You can put it on snares. Obviously, you can put it on all your melodic pieces. Um, Definitely one of the most solid reverb plugins out there. So uh, make sure if you guys do like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys this time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Some, some, some hit the key.